Yes, yes, here to impress no less. Just practicing my MC. Make sure you get growing there as well, yeah? Yeah, that's perfect. Yes, yes, good evening fellow Groove Riders. Will from Wheels Electrical Services. Welcome back to Electrician TV. In tonight's episode, we go back to my junior school and we give it a conditional report. I did it five years ago and then we're back five years later. So let's get into it. And don't forget, feeding the future together we grow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we just got this junior school to do. So we're starting off from here. We've all, hopes he's already found something straight away. I don't know how on earth that's come off. They have been using this as a bit of a storeroom because it is the tiniest school you ever likely to see in it, Ebs. Yeah. So what we need to do is obviously open that door and lift that up because these CC, these MCCB panels, see that? So you just open it and then you can lift it up, yeah? Yeah. Because that shouldn't be in the way, but there's no, there's, it's down the life of us. Morning. It is actually Wednesday morning after Christmas. Merry Christmas, Thank Epsi. Did you have a nice time? Yeah, decent. Yeah, I had a really nice time at all, except for waking up Christmas morning with a flat on my <laughs> uh, on my tyre. So I'm back at my junior school. Like uh, we're just doing the condition report. I've done it five years ago, so it's quite interesting, really. So I'm no doubt I'll bore you down the road, but this was used to be the main part, but it's completely like doubled in size and all sorts. So, have we found anything so far in here? You found, obviously, that's come off there. That is actually, that is probably what you could say is actually a C1, because that's actually like the neutral and live conductors, but um, we're obviously gonna repair that before we go today anyway, yeah. and we'll probably report it, because if we, I, I don't know if we can really glue that on there, because someone will actually need to get in there to work on it, so. I'll have a little think about that, but we are actually going to obviously have to repair that before we carry on. Wink, wink, MC. And then also what you have found is also that earth has been disconnected because they have had the plumbing redone here. So obviously I'm going to link that out. So we'll probably have to bring some tomorrow and sort that all out. Because obviously, as I say, this is my old junior school, so I do want to... Can you just open that door, mate, and I'll show me old label, look. Oh. <laughs> That's age like my fringe, isn't it? You yeah. know what I mean? Non existent. That's <laughs> <laughs> just clinging on, isn't it? <laughs> right, so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to literally just take the uh, board cover off, do some of the live tests, drop drop the power down, and do some insulation resistance on it all. So I don't know, um, this was all done. Oh, it's really tricky. I think the extension was just done when we last done the test. So it was a bit odd because there was one board that we didn't have to test, which we are we are this time round. But we've uh, downloaded all the cert and all that. So that's the cert from last time that I've done. And that is from the install one as well. So hopefully it should be all right. We're here for two, three days. Well, we're hopefully going to knock it out in two days, aren't we? But... We'll see how we get on. There's about 10 boards to do or something like that. No, there's not 10, there's about six boards, but right, let's crack on, Abs. So we're just doing this test of this little junior school. This is the main MEM MCCB panel, this feed. So basically these, this feeds all the sub boards that are lit like littered everywhere in different classrooms and all that. Some of the observations that me and Ebsy have seen straight away is the uh, flash guards and the neutrals are missing. Not that big a deal, but a uh, tour of it all. Saying that I was just saying to Ebsy I've never seen before, but someone's actually put, where well, they've got like the M M12 bolts, they've actually put a hook so you can actually hold the cables in, which I've never ever seen that before, which is, uh, I'd say that's a pretty good idea that, to be fair, just to hold some of the cables in place and use them as tie wrap things. One thing Ebsy has spotted out, which we're going to keep an eager eye for, is that the old flash guards for the neutral covers are missing. But other than that, everything looks pretty sweet, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, right, we're going to have to power everything down and uh, do the main tests and all that, guys, yeah? That's right. So what we're doing here is... Uh, Ebsy's been doing loads of data work and all that here, isn't he, Ebs? Yeah. <laughs> it's hilarious. That must be all old and rotten, that, because we've got Wi-Fi, but we can't even, uh, can't even download anything, can you, Ebs? Right, so we're literally testing it as the MCCB board, the rather going round stages. So we've got this little board here. 
So there's no RCD protection and all it does, it does some dodo sockets which are underneath there and it also does the kitchen sockets there. So that's gonna be a, probably something like a C3 for uh, sockets used in general use because they're not gonna be used outside, are they? And plus there is uh, dedicated outside sockets at this school as well. So we do that. There's one ring main as well, isn't there? So we can do that. One thing I do want to do is, well, that's a six mil and it does the sockets. So I presume it probably comes down that there. Just check to see what the connections are like because it's going to be a six mil. So we'll see what that's like. MC, so yeah, make sure that it's all on six mil or they've extended off the ring. <laughs> Epsi didn't charge up his head torch and he's quickly borrowed mine. <laughs> yeah, look how loose it is. Now, yeah, to take it off us. I was just showing Epsi one of the ways that uh, how you can seriously ruin your prongs is quite often happens is sometimes if you bring that forward like that and you literally put your prongs on there, the amount of times I've seen it and I've been with lads who have done it, where that just goes back onto the earth. Yeah, because that's obviously earth, and that's about five mil gap in it between it. Yeah. The amount of times that bad <laughs> shit the life out, yeah. And it's one of those things, you know, when you're rushing, you know what I mean? Yeah. We used to do like all the office blocks in London and all that. You used to, you'd only get given like probably ten minutes per circuit. You know what I mean? Bang 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 bang. Is that off, yeah? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's all off, mate. Yeah. Well, have you got a plug top tester? Yeah. Right. So that's all. Uh, that's all turned off. That's the board we're testing in there. So basically what it does, it does them kitchen sockets there, does them dados where Epsi is here. And then we've found this nice little find as well. It's just see that extension lead plugged in there. Basically what that does is that it's been conjugated across the lighting trunking, been gaffer taped up there, then it comes across this bit here, then comes down and as you can see, that's an extension lead, which is in permanently placed, so obviously that's really no good, but uh, it's more that for the uh, premature collapse in it in the event of a fire episode that we're mainly concerned about. But yeah, if you leave your comments below, I wasn't born an electrician, so it'd be interesting to know what your opinions are. I have seen Epsom was born an apprentice, when, uh, born an apprentice, born an electrician. Born a plaster. Right, so we're just on to the second board now, just having a quick look. So one thing, to notice that it's obviously a three phase board but it's obviously got a single phase so we're obviously going to take that lid off and have a quick look at that Ebs. see that you got a Phillips screwdriver yeah do you just want to screw that off and we just quickly see what it looks like yeah yeah as as a like we, as we were just chatting off camera there's absolutely nothing wrong with it uh turn it off guys turn it off As I say, there's absolutely nothing wrong with it as long as it's done correctly, got the proper kit and all that. These uh Memshaw 2 ones, so what's that look like? So that must be linked at the top then. Must be linked up there. Where's that linked out then? Must have a link in the top then, Ebs. What's that? I don't really like taking these off. Oh yeah. Yeah, look, see it's joined up the top there. See that? Yeah. The amount of times you see these boards with that, with that actual cover being missing is, is terrifying. We had it the other week, yeah. didn't we? Yeah, they had that other one as well. So. Yeah, it's absolutely terrifying because that's just like pure buzz. Well, right, what we can do is uh, we do the we do the test and then we get that and then we put that cover back on before we re-energise it, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, we just make sure that there's the right c cable from the MCB, yeah? yeah? MCCB, yeah? Check me out, five years on and we're still getting the same result, Ebs. And it's a different... Uh... Check me out, look. Circuit 20. What did you get, Ebs? 0.38, 0 0.38 and 0.33. Yes, and look, five years on and a different meter as well. Still the same result. Cheese! 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 Everyone's probably thinking, oh, please do not tell us how to do the end to end squares. 
<laughs> yes, Ebbs is here to impress. So we're just back here. His uh, first name only now. So we're just literally just taking photos. Uh, we've got this little ring main here, which has got no uh, continuity. It's across all conductors, Ebbs, isn't it? But I think we had this prior as well. So we'll literally just take a few photos and all that and get there. You know what I'd done the, uh, did you see I'd done a reel last night off this fuse board? Yeah, I thought that. Like uh, TikTok took it down because it said it was a violation of the... Did they? Yeah. What's up? <laughs> what, but they, what? <laughs> <laughs> they can't handle a discrimination against three phase and single phase <laughs> uh, sh shorting out kit. You know what I mean? Right, so now we're on to uh, the new bit. This was done about five years ago, so it'd be interesting to do like, uh, interesting to see what's going on in there i've obviously taken the lid off around there and i'm just going to whip this off and have a quick look and see but most of it's all asked to be protected there is a couple now that you'd like to see probably with rcd because obviously the light switches are going to be below uh well they might not be under 50. we'll have a little look go for it all nice board though isn't it it's got the meter on there as well nice and neat and tidy by the looks of it let's have a look Right, so just uh, working at the old school and that the uh, caretaker showed us this. Uh, this is when I started this is the junior school, 1981. I don't know, really know why. It's really nice as well, because all of these were all my friends. Like, I was looking for it and there was 11 people in my class and all that. And then there's, I don't know why, that's irritated me that my parents <laughs> couldn't even be bothered to tell them my middle name, which is James. That was my mum and dad's house. My dad's, and then I left for Collingwood in 1988, which uh, it's in like a scripture, and it's <laughs> right, it hadn't been carved in slate. And then they've even got my sister's little uh, form here, which is a bit annoying because when I first see it, that's my sister there. And obviously, our school in a little village school is so but so small that that's actually two years there because I think my sister's year was well small. I think it was even smaller than ours. I think they had about eight or nine people. Yeah, so this is the new classrooms for the school. Like uh, when, when I'd done the condition report five years ago, this literally just got built. So this hasn't been the first time this has done the condition report, but the board looks actually really neat and tidy, to be fair. Got the old meters down there as well. Just saying, uh, I'm not so keen on these flashcards. I know they're obviously safe. They're probably designed so you can do the testing, but they're, they're a bit lively, aren't they? It's probably only about a couple of mil between them but i suppose if you're gonna have the board cover off because that even the extension bits there that's a bit lively isn't it you know what i mean i don't think i like these old flash guards with all the they've seemed to put all the uh flash guards are covered through all the neutral and the earths but all the main ones are all uh exposed a bit odd i don't know why uh eaton have done that eaton mem but yeah i did notice there's a bit of copper showing on all those it's obviously an observation, but it's, you know, it's one of them funny ones, but you've got, you, you know, you've got to draw a line somewhere, haven't you? You know what I mean? I'll give you a quick tour of the classrooms as well. Ebbs is just there. Yes, yes, Ebbs here. So these are actually the lights that I was, uh, they, these look like the lights I was slagging off in my other video. They're form ones, aren't they? I don't know if they are as it goes, because then ones that uh, William William Ranson, then we've got the pin lights, but that's half of it, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. These have probably got the LED tapes inside, so. This is my old junior school. Absolutely love it. So, yeah, used to be a classroom right there before the, uh, that was uh, demolished for all this as well. That's beautiful. So, what we tend to do is because. Uh, well, it's only us in. There is actually a plumber because they've had a major leak down the other end, uh, like during the snow and all that. So he's repairing all that. So what we literally do is turn off all the circuits except for the light in the cupboard. And then we uh, energize the circuit we're looking for, go around each room, you know, make sure all the points and all that. And then uh, we uh, isolate that and then uh, drop, drop the circuit down, have a little look, do the R. Well, we don't, we don't always do the R1, R2 or it's because obviously where it's been energized before we presume when it was tested because we actually have got the old test results as well which i won't show you because it's got the old company uh the company who done its name on there so 
just in case we find anything untoward. So don't really want to, don't really want to uh, expose those. But it's nice, isn't it, Ez? Right, let's crack on. Okay, so just talk us through what you're doing then, yeah? Uh, so basically, I'm just doing the end to end. So on, on the live, I've got nothing. Yeah, so put put the leads back to, together just so we can see what's going on. So they've been nailed out, yeah. I always forget to do that. And when I'm editing the videos, I think, well, I'm melt. Yeah, there's nothing so, on the live. Yeah, so that's obviously popped out somewhere as well. What is that? Is that just that one? It's just been a plaster. It's on the conduit as well. Oh, what metal conjure? I'd have said this is probably the old one. This is the old classroom as well, isn't it? So they must have probably pulled down the ceiling. Yeah? Because yeah. it's only the room next door that is actually brand new. I think this and that corridor has just been built over the top of the old part. Yeah. Because this, this little room here, I'll show you. This is the old football ground. For football ground, football pitch. That's where right. you can't really see it. That's where the magic happened. That's where I scored my first goal for Walker JMI against Aston. And I think it was like, like an eight aside because like the amount of people that went to our school, like literally, there was probably you couldn't even get eleven aside team. It's um, amazing, but yeah, absolute dirty views though, isn't it? Yeah, so it's awesome. This little room used to be Mrs. Windsor. I think this was the actual room I was telling you about. It's probably my, my happy place where I used to come for a milk, milk in the <laughs> afternoon, <laughs> have a nice little kit, but then piss myself and go home. <laughs> oh, hilarious. So obviously we've got the old, uh, actually I best cover the geezer's name over. You dirty bastard. But yeah, I've got the old uh, test certs here and like we're just going through it. And as I just showed you, there was no end to end readings. And then we're just literally just overwriting this because obviously we can reassure them with all new certs and and things. It's just that, look, even when they've installed it, because it's got new cables and this is really old, is uh, they have no continuity on the lives then. So that is actually a C2, that is, because the overload device is a, is a B32 EBS, isn't it? Overload device. Overload device exceeds cable rating, matey! Oh my god, me! Right, so I'm just just here looking above the sea then, see what's going on with all these lights. I think most of them seem to be on clip plugs, all, all clipped onto that bit of basket there. But another thing is that it's, it's only got normal clips, ain't got metal clips, so I have to chat to Will and see what he wants to do about that. But then, once it goes on the basket, it's alright. But yeah. Don't seem too bad though. Got the FP over there. All that there. Not too bad. So we've left it to, to today to uh, sticker up all these boards, but yeah. They're the old ones I used to use. I used to get these, uh, used to be a geezer I worked with, uh, wife done them all, but they just, uh, the only trouble is they age poorly in the cold and you know, you find them like this all falling off. So I paid a bit extra and I got these ones that are vinyl, a lot more expensive, but they should last forever because they're, they're really thick as well. Can you actually see how thick they are? They are pretty thick, so. I thought, and obviously where they carry our logo and all that, or, you know, I just thought it's worth it. It's, it's stuff like that is quite important to me, really. I like the, uh, I like everything to be neat and tidy. You know what I mean? So we're just out here trying to get these lights on, which has got a sensor there. It's also got a timer in it, Evs. Yeah. I had repaired that cable eight years ago. No, I say years ago, probably about four years ago. And it was like proper horrible raining. <laughs> For, you know, the geezer Gregor I see around the village. Yeah. Like, always waves to me. Yeah, so, and someone knocked it down because he'd done the grass down there. I think no, that's going to be an observation. No metal tie rats. Oi, Willie! There's a fucking freebie in the rain, that was. <laughs> yes, yes, thanks for watching. And don't forget, if you're going to be anything, then be electric. Imagine not being an electrician and having a great beard. Bye! <laughs>